Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble home, my hacienda, my casa on the windy hills of Livingston, Montana. My name is Jim. Okay, my first order of business is time here. It's August 31st, the last day of August of 2023. Labor Day is on us. Anyway, in this video here, what I thought I would do is show you folks, anybody that's interested in this anyway, the high points or the selling points of this new e-bike I bought, meaning an Ahoria Roman, Romeo Pro. Now, this may not apply to you. You may not like what I've got to say or what I've got to show you. That's fine. Because here it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's, I, I figure that there's at least 500 e-bikes for sale, different models on the internet. 500 different models of e-bikes, and I also am figuring that there's probably at least 200 different vendors. So, I mean, the the market for e-bikes is huge. It, it, it's so huge, in my humble opinion, it's confusing because you're gonna you're gonna hear a lot of stuff about this bike and that bike, and some of this stuff might just be pure hype. That's what I'm trying to avoid is hype. So that's that's what I'm up to. Okay, my second order of business here is this goofy thing right here. Madeline, she is one of my uh, subscribers. Are you looking, hon? This helmet. Uh, I get a, a little good. I get a little grief from time to time about wearing a helmet. Well, I've got one. It's just that I've never recorded the doggone thing. It actually fits me very well. It's very light. As a matter of fact, I don't even know, this is made by Cy Rusher. I don't even know how much protection something like this would offer a kid, you know. But anyway, I, I just wanted to, so that Madeline stops worrying, I just thought I'd show you. I do have a helmet, okay? And so anyway, that's what I'm up to. I'm just up to, I'm going to take this camera of mine, I'm going to run outside, and I'm going to dash around that that e-bike that I just got put together yesterday, that Ahoria Romeo Pro, and show you what I consider the, are, are the selling points or the high points. Uh, by, oh, I want to make one more statement. I do not work for e Ahoria. I am not sponsored by them. I don't get any money from them. I don't even know if those people know who I am. You know, I bought uh, this bike off of Amazon. I got $200 off. I think... I think the bike was twenty four or twenty five hundred dollars somewhere in that neighborhood, and I paid like twenty two for it. If, if for those that have to know, for those of you that have to know, and I have a, I have one other e bike. It's a Cy Rusher. I've already been asked what I done with that Quattro Cy Rusher. I I still have it. Okay, that's all there is to it. And the rest of it's my business. So let's get outside, stop burning daylight, and get on with this. This is a movie file here. <whistles> Boom. Very well, and if all my noisy neighbors and the wind will let me do this, I'm sitting back about 10, 15 feet away from this bike, and uh, I'm sitting back in the shadows of my garage here, hoping to uh, get a view of this. I think it'll work out better than walking around it. But starting out with this tire here, you can see it's a CST whatever that says, BFT, it's a 26 inch by four inch tire, okay? And right in the middle, that drive hub is, is made by Ehoria. That's what it says on there anyway. And the gearing is, is, is Shimano gearing, seven, it's a seven gear cassette, okay? And the, the, the brakes back there, if you can see that rotor. I think these are Logan brakes. I looked around and I couldn't see any de designation, but I think they're Logan brakes. Okay. And then, okay, let's move over to the front tire. Same thing, 26 inch by four inch. And they're, they're right there. CST BFT. I've seen those around. I think those are a pretty good tire and like that. Now this chain ring right here, I'm not sure the count on that. I didn't count those teeth. It probably doesn't matter, you know. Well, maybe it does. It depends on if you want to hot rod this bike or just what you want to do. And right there in that seat, underneath that seat, if you can see it, there's a shock absorber. That's what makes this a full suspension bike. There's a shock absorber there, 
And then same with the, the front suspension. You got uh, dual shock absorbers, one on each side, okay? And then there's this massive battery right in the middle. I've already, on another one of my videos, I've already covered that battery. battery. It's a 48 volt times uh, uh, 60 amp hours, 60 amp hours, okay? And then as you can see right there, the seat is is a moped type seat. I hate those other kind of seats that make you feel like you're sitting on a corn cob. And you know what I'm talking about. Sure you do. I just, I do not like those kind of, now this is for me now. I'm not telling you what to like or what you don't like, okay? And what else? As you can see, the body of this thing is a modular design. I like that because in the future, if a kid ever wanted to, if you ever wanted to, you know, hot rod this bike. I'm not hot rods wrong word. If you ever wanted to mod it, I think that one of these modular designs here would be just real nice. You know what I mean? Okay, now let me step over to the other side and shoot from the other side. Uh, shooting from that uh, staircase back there, my porch, shooting this other way. Of course, I'm going to be shooting into the sun, but let's see what I can come up with. This wind, no doubt, from this angle here is going to be pretty bad, but I'm doing the best I can. Okay, I forgot to say, this drive hub back there, in the middle of that rear motor, it's... It's four, it, it peaks at 1,400 watts, 1,400 watts, but consistent, it's a 12, it's a 1,200 watt uh, drive back there, 1,200 watts, that's a pretty substantial drive, okay? And that kickstand, I really like that kickstand right there, it works a lot better than some of the bikes I've seen. And like I say, that chain ring there, I'm not sure exactly how many teeth that is, I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, there's, if you can see them handle, I'm kind of shooting into the sun, but there's the handlebars. The Shimano controls are over on the right side. It's a seven gear set, uh, cassette, uh, control up there. And, and there's that front tire. Like I say, I think it's got Logan brakes, but the thing that really impresses me with this bike right here, it's a heavy bike, but it's this, it's this shape. It's this design, it's this assembly, this moped design. That's what I'm really liking. I, uh, it fits me very, very well from what testing I've done. Okay, now let me shut this off and go around and try to get on another different angle here. Okay, here's the, what do they call this area of the bike? A cockpit? I think it's kind of dumb myself. But anyway, this guy right here has got a, Instead, of, it, it doesn't have a twist throttle. It's got a thumb, th thumb throttle like this. I think I'm going to like that a little bit better. And here's your controls right there for the for the gearing, for the Shimano gearing. There's the doggone headlight right there, the motorcycle type headlight. Here's your other controls right here. You've got your headlight, high and low, and then this thing's got blinkers on it, okay? Left and right, horn right there. Uh, here, there's more controls right up there. I haven't got around to running this yet, but I will. Sorry about the wind. Okay, let me come back here. It's like I say, it's got blinkers. I don't think I took that plastic off last night. Got blinkers there. I don't know, what you see is what you get on this bike. Nice looking bike. Later on this evening when it's cooler, I'm gonna take and take and take it out and ride it. But I just thought I'd get, make a get to know you type video. And here's what you see on the side of this. There's a, a little bit of fawning it there, if you will. I like that. Evoke healthy lifestyle, Ahoria. Evoke healthy lifestyle now. Okay. So I know I'm casting a shadow. That's a 1400 watt hub, drive hub right there. It's just got rear drive, it's not all wheel drive. There we go, there's the front. There's what that looks like. Very nice looking bike. I suspect it'll ride just as nice. I'm hoping anyway. Okay. I probably forgot something. There's that. There's your rear shock absorber right there. That was kind of fun getting that in there. My wife helped me do that. Very well, let me go. 
Let me go make closing statements here. That's what I'm going to do. In closing here, I'd just like to say this much. I was noticing this last night, but on this key set that comes with this to unlock the battery and like that, there's a little metal tag right there that came with, and it says 182. 1A2 on this little metal tag. What does that stand for? I have no idea. And these keys are marked 182 too, right up here in the shoulder. And so I have no idea what any of that stuff stands for, but you gotta have these keys to unlock, to lock and unlock that big battery. Now I'm gonna say this in closing. This bike more than likely isn't for everybody because it's heavy. Total gross weight on this bike is around 125 pounds. That battery weighs about 30 pounds. It's a, it's a big bike. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I have not drove it yet. I have not rode it yet, but I'm going to. I've learned a long time ago. I'm no expert with these Z-bikes, but I don't think getting in a big hurry justifies anything. You know, haste makes waste. And I've proven that a bunch of times in my life. And so what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, I'll try to remember to put Ehoria's website. You know, I'll try to link. I'm really bad at linking my videos to my audience. I very seldom ever do that or whatever have you. I know when it comes to this business of being sponsored, I've been on, I've been on YouTube now for 10 years, and nobody's ever approached me to be a sponsor or have me sponsor them or any of this. I don't even know how any of that stuff works. I really don't. And I'm getting to the age and the point where I don't really care either. I'm saying that not out of emotions. I'm just saying, okay? Now, if you like what you're seeing here, my name's Jim. I live up here in Livingston, Montana. Sign up for the program. I won't bite you. You know, and give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Give me the old love salute, you know, and all. All that kind of stuff, and leave me some comments. Give me something to chew on here, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourself. We'll see you on down the. We'll see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends.